why does this have to happen to me? Just because I'm a troublemaker doesn't mean that I should be treated like this. I've been arrested before, and even that's a Brazilian times better than what I had to endure. I guess the only thing I can do now is call authorities. Those losers need to learn somehow. This has gone way too far. Nine one one. What's your emergency? Hello there. May I speak to a police officer? Um, sure. I'll send you over to Officer Jeff. But for now, please hold. Hello? Hello, officer. It's me, Lamar Greatly. Ark. You again? Why are you calling this time? Did your parents give you a belt beating again? Yes, but it's not only that. Carry on? Well, today's my 18th birthday, and my parents pretended to surprise me. But then, they had Corey jumped out of a present box, and they gave me a brutal punishment day. Well, you probably did deserve it. No listen. They made me take a cold shower, they slagged me in the face, they gave me a swirly, they threw me off of the top floor, they made me walk barefoot on glass, they made me drink an entire bottle of hot sauce, and many more. My face is actually all scratched up and bruised, my feet are all cut, and I'm in pain mentally too. I'm sorry, what? I'm being 100% serious. Come and have a look for yourself. Okay then. If what you're saying is actually true, we'll arrest your parents immediately. Me, Peter and Brooklyn guy will be there shortly. Please be patient, help is on the way soon. Okay. Bye. Hey honey, do you feel like we took it a bit too far on Lamar? I mean, I know he's a troublemaker, but making him drink hand sanitizer, making him drink hot sauce? Slapping him in the face 18 times? Publicly humiliating him? Throwing him out the window? I mean, what were we even thinking when giving those punishments to our own son? I honestly don't even know. We might have just traumatized him forever after doing all of that. I feel so ashamed for even doing it in the first place. And what's worse, we did it on his 18th birthday as well. Now every time his birthday comes up, he will think about what happened today, and that's just awful. We should have never done this crap in the first place. I agree. I feel awful for doing it too. We should try to find a way to apologize to our son, because what we did was horrible. And we need to tell Corey to apologize to him as well. What do you say? That would be the most logical thing to do, especially right now. Let's go ahead and do that. Vion City Police Department. Open this door right now. Oh no. This can't be good. That's right. Lamar, what the hell? Honey, chill. I'll answer it. Why hello officers. Good for you guys to come over. Good day to you as well. May we come in? We just want to have a little discussion about you and your wife. Sure. Have a seat in the living room. So, we have received a phone call from Lamar Gravely saying that you two, the parents, abused him both physically and mentally on his 18th birthday. Well, I wouldn't say that. Let's just say that we taught him a lesson. He deserves it for all of the damn trouble he causes. He is literally on the Flying Eagles, one of the most feared troublemaking groups besides the Reapers and the Alanistons. Okay, but what kind of lesson? Well, Corey was there helping with the punishments, and he got the whole thing on video, and put it up on his channel page. Check it out for yourself. It is a little long, so grab your popcorn and 3D glasses. I'll get it. What the actual hell did we just watch? Wait. Mr. and Mrs. Gravely, were you two seriously abusing the life out of my ma? Tell me the truth right this minute. <laughs> Stop with the ums and get to the truth. Was it you two or not? Do you want the pepper spray again? Well, there's no backing down from this now. 
We had to give Lamar a punishment day for his birthday. And we might have taken it a bit too far. Oh. My. Word. Mr. and Mrs. Gravely, what on earth is wrong with you? You've just committed several accounts of assault, child abuse, and neglect. Now you've severely traumatized Paul O'Mara like he's Michael Dagger. Who cares if he's a troublemaker? He literally bleeds human blood like the rest of us, and he has emotions too. But Alf says, he's one of the worst troublemakers on the planet. All he ever thinks about is causing trouble. We need to punish him for his actions. He deserved every bit of it in our opinion. We have the parents, we have the power, and we have the authority, so that means we can do whatever the hell we want with our child. Nobody gives two heaping hands. Child abuse is one of the most traumatizing things ever. You guys are a bigger mistake than my ex-wife, and that's really hard to achieve. Now to teach you to a real lesson. Keisha and Tayshawn Gravely, I'm arresting you on suspicion of child neglect, abuse, and physical assault. You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defense her, if you do not mention when questioned, something which you'll later rely on in court. Anything you do say will be given in evidence. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be appointed for you. Oh, we don't say that in our country. But thanks anyway Jeff. Well you abusive monsters, have fun spending your years in full time prison. And I hope that I will never see you two again. Lamar, we're gonna get you for this. One day you will definitely pay the full price. Oh be quiet Missy. That will be given in evidence in the court of law for saying that. Well guys, off to the police car we go. We're taking you two straight to jail. And oh boy, your siblings are not gonna be so happy when they hear this. Thank you three so much for arresting my abusive parents. They truly deserved it for giving me a harsh and brutal punishment day on my birthday alongside Corey. You're more than welcome, Lamar. And even though you're still a troublemaker and you commit crimes, we are glad that we're able to help you out with something for a little change. I agree with my brother. And the next time if someone abuses you or anything like that, you give us a call and we will take good care of it. Will do. But now since my parents are going to jail, where am I supposed to stay at? I can't stay here at this house by myself. That's a really good question you asked. Well, I'm afraid that you will have to go live with someone you know in your family. Do you know anybody in your family that is related to you? Yes I do. I know my aunt, my uncle, my four cousins, and my grandparents that are related to me, and they each have an apartment. Okay, so who do you want to live with until we decide on giving you new or step-parents? Well, I would like to live with my aunt and uncle because it's not that far away from the city. Alright then. But you do realize that they can still discipline and ground you for the stuff you do wrong, you know that right? Yes, I already know that. But they won't eventually abuse me like my parents did to me. I'm pretty sure that they won't be so extremely harsh to you. But anyways, when do you want to go over to your aunt and uncle's house so you can stay there until we give you some new or step-parents? I'll head over there whenever I'm ready. Okay then. And if you want, you can use your parents' car as your vehicle to drive over there, if you have a license that is. I do have a driver's license. I got it not too long ago. Oh uh, really? That's nice. It sure is. I'll use my parents' car to drive over to my aunt and uncle's house. But I need to have someone take over my parents' place until I come back here. Well sir, I'm afraid that we can't hire someone to take over your parents' place because that may be considered as a break-in. However, since you're now a legal adult, you can technically stay inside the house by yourself if you want. Thanks, but for once, I actually want to stay with my other family members this time, so that I can tell them all what happened, and then I'll come back here and stay by myself once I'm ready too. That makes sense. Well, once you're ready, we'll head over to your aunt and uncle's apartment to talk with them and tell them what happened with your parents. Mind giving us the address before we get there? Of course, officer. Thank you so much, Lamar. You're welcome. You can't do this to us for simply disciplining our child. We swear, you guys and Lamar are seriously gonna regret arresting us when we get out of jail. 
Yeah. Like my wife said. You both, shut your pipes up right now. Do you want me to test the both of you? Uh, uh, no. No. That's what I thought. You both and I know you did just more than disciplining your own son. Have fun in jail, you child abusing pieces of trash. There will be no crying inside of your jail cells either. You two are adults for crying out loud. Now shut it. Hey Ruth. Yeah honey. I just remembered that today is our nephew's 18th birthday. Oh yeah, it is. Well, I hope he had a great birthday today, even if he is a troublemaker, and I hope he's enjoying his first day as an adult as well. We need to get him a present. Agreed. Let's go call the kids and tell them that. Vyond City Police Department. We need to have a word with you guys. It's urgent. Oh no. What are the police doing here? I don't know Mark, but we better go see what's going on. It sounds like something bad happened. Hello, are you two Ruth and Mark Gravely? Yes. What is going on? And why is Lamar with you guys? Did Lamar do something bad again? No, no. It's actually something worse than that. It has something to do with Lamar's parents. You two may want to take a seat while we explain everything that happened. May we come inside? Oh geez, that doesn't sound good at all. Of course, come on in officers. We have some seats in the kitchen. So officers, what happened to our nephew Lamar? And what did Kisha and Tayshawn do to him exactly? Kisha and Tayshawn had the bright idea to give Lamar here an extreme punishment day earlier today as a birthday surprise. Wait a second, they did what? Yes, they actually did. But I have more to tell. They invited Corey over to come and help them out, and let me tell you, when you guys hear the punishments that they gave to poor Lamar, you won't believe it. They first made him drink an entire bottle of hand sanitizer in one go, which made him sick, then they made him take an extremely cold bath without any clothes on, which gave him hypothermia, then they forced him to publicly humiliate himself by making him dance in nothing but his underwear. And those weren't even the worst punishments that he received. Tayshawn then gave Lamar over 30 belt beatings, slapped Lamar over 18 times on the face, and then they actually had the balls to throw Lamar out of the window. He could have died if the height from his fall to the ground was a greater amount. Those were clear signs of attempted murder and child abuse. What the actual hell? Why would Kisha and Tayshawn ever think of doing stuff like that? Was there anything else that those three did to Lamar? Unfortunately, yes there were. They made him close down all of his social media accounts, they made him drink an entire bottle of hot sauce in one go, they gave him a good swirly, which almost got him suffocated, they electrocuted him, Corey kicked Lamar in his private area so hard, which is where that loud scream came from earlier ago. He was forced to do thousands upon thousands of exercises which stressed out all of his muscles inside of his body, making him experience excruciating pain. They forced him to salute on Corey, they destroyed his electronic consoles in front of him, they made him walk through a sharp glass barefooted, which caused his feet to bleed very badly, they pepper sprayed him in the eyes, which caused him to barely see a single thing. They dumped a gigantic bucket of water on him, which almost suffocated Lamar and which means he could have died. And finally, they sended him to the WGBH Boston and BND of Doom logos, which got him scared massive time. And that's all true. Now I'm very traumatized because of them. I never knew my parents would take their anger out on me this hard. I know I caused trouble, but that gives them no right to abuse me like they did. It's gonna take a lot of therapy and forgiveness before I let everything slide. They ruined my birthday, and scared me permanently. It's a lot for me to deal with at the moment. So wait. You're telling me that Taeshwan and Kisha gave life-ending punishments to our nephew on his 18th birthday? Are. You. Freaking. Kidding me right now? I can't even believe my brother and Kisha would decide to do something so heinous and violent. Those were all honest new levels of punishments that they gave to Lamar. Oh 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 oh
they won't be getting Lamar back for a very long time. They don't deserve Lamar after everything they've done to him, and on his 18th birthday. You fucks don't have to wait for that either. We've already arrested both of them for accounts of assault, child abuse and neglect. They will be placed in jail for a very long time. Now I just want all of this to be over now. No more of it. I've had enough. <laughs> oh honey, it's gonna be alright. You don't have to worry about your parents bothering you anymore now that they're in jail. Sir, we are so sorry that your nephew had to go through such agonizing torture. It's fine. It wasn't your fault. Now, we still need to make sure Lamar gets the 18th birthday he deserves. Well, I hope you can come up with something. The good news is that his abusive parents are in jail. Corey will also be receiving a hefty fine for being involved in this fiasco. Well, we'll have to be on our way. There's crime lurking around anyway. Come on partner, let us head off. Alright then. Well, I hope you have a great rest of your day Mr. Gravely. Thanks, and the same goes for you too. See you two later. How are you liking this movie so far, Lamar? It's actually not that bad. It's helping me calm my nerves a bit. Who knew a movie about your emotions could be so good? However, I'm still traumatized over what happened. It's gonna be alright honey. We might need to send you over to a therapist so that you can talk about what happened, because keeping your trauma and emotions in certainly isn't healthy for you. I agree with your aunt. Everything will get better soon. I sure hope so. Let's just try to watch the rest of the movie, okay? Okay. okay. Parents of Lamar gravely abuse and torture their troublemaking kid and get arrested? Tayshawn and Keisha gravely have been arrested on accounts of child abuse, assault and neglect for torturing and abusing Lamar gravely, member of the notorious troublemaking group, the Flying Eagles, on his 18th birthday. The lists of punishments that were given to Lamar were electrocution, belt beatings, slaps to the face, and throwing him out the window? Are you serious? What? Oh my god. That is so terrible. Why would they do that to Lamar? That's taking things way too far. Lamar is a really bad troublemaker for sure. But even he doesn't deserve that type of treatment whatsoever. That's right. Lamar's parents ought to be ashamed of themselves. They're just as bad as those Alanostiums. Child abuse and assault is not the way to go. Absolutely. And I also can't believe they got Corey to be in on all of it too. He really should know better. I really hope nothing like this ever happens again. We all have a few bones to pick with Corey, that gym coach, and especially Lamar's parents once they're barred from jail. Right. right. I wonder who that could be? I'll put it on speakerphone for all of us to hear. Hello? Hi, is this Vance? Yes it is. How may I help you? Well, my name is Antonio Gravely and I am one of Lamar's cousins, and you will be glad to know that he's safe with us and is going to be living with us at our place for a while. Phew! Oh man! You don't know how much we wanted to hear that. Thank you for telling us. Of course. But that's not the reason I called you. I assume you heard what happened to Lamar yesterday? Yes, we all did unfortunately. Okay. Well my siblings, my parents and I have all decided to do something special for Lamar today, and we need you and the others help to do it. We're planning on throwing a surprise birthday party for Lamar at the Vion City Stadium, and we want to invite everyone we know to attend, including the Flying Eagles. Oh my! That sounds like a great idea. Of course, I can help. And what about you guys? Yes! My friends all said yes as well. That's great to hear. We already reserved a reservation and invited all of the guests, so now we just need to get the party decorations and some presents, as well as some entertainment, and we're good to go. We will be more than happy to help with all of that. We'll be there as soon as possible. 
Great. We will see you all by then. And remember, tell the rest of the Vion users to come along as well, and keep it a secret. Of course. We will see you all later then. Okay. Well, I've got to get going so that we can get this party started. See you then. Goodbye. Same goes to you. Well, what are we standing around here for? Let's go get some party supplies and make this party special. You're right on it, Shieldy. We'll take my van. Let's all go right now. Okay. okay. I call Shotgun. Sorry bud, but Donut sits there, because A, he's the oldest of the objects, and B, he's trying to learn how to drive, so he needs to observe the road. Dang it. I guess that makes sense though. Glad that you know that now. Alright guys, are you all ready to go? Are your seat belts in? Yes. Okay then, let's hit the road. Hi there guys. Glad you can come and make it. It is no problem at all. We're glad to be here. Where do you want all of the decorations set up? You can set them up around the entire suite. The presents can go near the cake. Okay then. We'll help with all of that. Oh man. This looks so awesome. Our friend is surely gonna appreciate this party we are throwing for him. I agree Dylan. This place is seriously decked out. Hopefully he'll love it. He deserves it for all of the hell he went through recently. As crazy as it is, I actually agree with you all. We put a lot of effort into setting up everything. Now all we need to do is actually get Lamar over here, and this party will be underway. The both of us are just about to go do that right now. Actually, let me pick him up instead. We don't really want to ruin the surprise for Lamar, do we? You know what? That's actually a smart idea. Okay Vance, we'll let you pick him up instead. Here is our house address. It's not too far from here. Okay then. I just hope Lamar doesn't try to pound my face in when I pick him up. I'm sure you'll be okay Vance. Call us if you need anything, and when you get him, make sure to not tell him about the party. Okay? Okay, got it. Thank you. Oh yeah, and I also forgot this. Make sure to also make him wear this over his eyes when you both get back here, and let him to the suite. I got all of that. I must head out now so we can start early. See you guys then. Okay everyone, we don't need to do it now. But when Lamar and Vance get here, we need to find places to hide in and also be sure to keep very quiet and turn off the lights completely to give Lamar a proper surprise. Does everyone get that? Yes. That's good to hear. Okay everyone, let's think about our hiding positions.
Huh. I wonder who that could be. What the heck? Vance, what are you doing here? This better be something good. Wait, wait. Lamar, you can trust me. I am not gonna scold you or get you in trouble for anything. I have a very special surprise for you. It's somewhere else, however, so I need to take you by vehicle. Um, okay then. Just let me get ready first, then I'll head out with you. Okay. I'll be waiting in my van. Huh, huh why is Vance here to pick, to pick me up? up? Did, Did he, he hear about what happened and wants to do something to me? me? This, this is very odd, odd even from him. him. I, I hope, hope whatever, whatever it is, it's, it's something, something good. good. All right, Lamar. You need to put this over your eyes. Okay, then. All right. Now what? I will lead you inside of the stadium and walk us over to where we need to go. How do I know this isn't a trick? Lamar, please, trust me. You will be very happy and relieved to be here once we head in there. I promise, I won't do anything bad to you. All right, Vance. I trust you. Let's go. Now that's the spirit. Okay, Lamar, you can take the bandana off. Um, why is it completely dark in here? Surprise! Oh my god. So this was the surprise Vance was talking about. Wow. This is so amazing. Thank you all so much for throwing me a surprise birthday party for my 18th birthday. Oh wow. Dylan, Carl, Blaze, Trophy, Tristan, Chris, and the rest of you guys. You all helped out too? Yep, we sure did. We wanted to help throw a surprise birthday party for you after everything that happened. We did all of this for you buddy. Holy crap. Thank you all so much for doing this for me. You guys have no ideas how grateful I am about all of this. It's no problem at all dear. Despite your trouble making, everyone deserves to have their birthday celebrated. And Lamar, we're sorry that we laughed at you while you were dancing in your underwear as part of your punishment day. You didn't deserve any of this after all. I agree with Zaria. We didn't realize that your parents forced you to do this in public, and we all kind of felt bad for you. Oh, that's quite alright Adam and Zaria. I didn't deserve this whatsoever. My abusive parents are in jail now for what they did to me. And that's where they will be staying for a very long time. We're all glad that you are alright. I really appreciate that Adam. Alright everyone. May I get your attention? Thank you. Before the birthday party officially gets underway, we have a special performance from the Rent Boys. Glad to hear you all excited. They will start in a couple of minutes, so let's head over to the stage area. Follow me. Alright boys. Ready? Ready? Ready. A five, six, seven, eight. Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on my side. I don't want to waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah No, I don't wanna waste what's left And on and on We'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways Till my shadow turns to sun rays And on
right everyone. We have food prepared for you everyone to eat, so in a couple of minutes, everyone is free to head into the dining area and grab some food when you get there. We are serving pizza, burgers, hot dogs, spaghetti, chicken, and much more. First come, first serve. Alright Lamar, are you ready for us to sing happy birthday and to blow your candles out? You bet I am. Great! Okay everybody. One, two, three. Hey Lamar. I have a very special birthday present for you. Oh wow. Sophia, you have a present for me. Cool. What is it? Open it and see for yourself. Oh my god. You brought me a brand new PS5. That's sweet of you to give this to me. I've always wanted a PS5 ever since Christmas last year, when my parents got me nothing but coal because of my childish behavior. Thank you so much Sophia. You're welcome Lamar. And even though you're still a troublemaker and harassing me non-stop, I've decided to do something nice for you for a slight change. And I'm sorry for what happened to you yesterday. You are in a much better and safer place now. Now. Thanks for the gift that I always wanted for a long time. You're welcome. Happy birthday Lamar. Thanks Sophia. Now, today sure has been a great birthday party for me. Happy 18th birthday to me. <laughs> <laughs> 